Hi everyone and welcome back. In previous set of JavaScript videos, I covered the basic concepts about JavaScript like object, function, function prototype, object proto, object shallow copy, deep copy, all different different aspects about JavaScript like I, we talked about async await, callback, promises and all. Now in couple of more videos like two to three videos, I will be talking about some common set of questions which you might face while giving some interviews while talking just randomly about javascript so you should be aware about all those different aspects in javascript okay so we'll talk about these things one by one the first thing i'm going to talk about is the constructor function and this new keyword using which we are creating the object of a function right so what what all different things this new keyword does to the function so we created an employee function and now we are doing new employee so what this new employee is doing right so there are this is a four step process actually so first of all it creates a new object empty new object okay then assign that empty object to the this value okay that is the second thing then that function this particular function will add inherit the prototype from the function and then if there is no explicit return then it will just return this object okay the newly created object which we have created so the new employee right this is also called as a constructor function using which we can create an object of a function i mean we have already inspected this and we have checked this the prototype so emp is an object so proto of emp is pointing to the prototype of a function from which it has been created which is employee employee is the function Okay, similarly there are other aspects we are going to talk about is uh, let's talk about simple null and undefined. Interesting one. So null and undefined. Okay, what do you get when you do a type of null? Always remember that it is going to be object. Null is considered in JavaScript as an object and undefined type of undefined is always undefined. Similarly, when you do type of array, what do you think? It is also an object. All the array are nothing but an object where key is the index of an array and value is the index value. So if you just talk about const x, this is also an object. What it is having, it is nothing but uh, having a key value pair like at the 0th index, I have the value 1 and at first index, I have the value 2, something like this right so when you do the type of x it will also come as an object so we have other primitives also like boolean number uh, string undefined object symbol and all okay now uh, next thing we can talk about is sometimes uh, in an interview they will ask you to write a memorized function okay from there they will test your concepts about closer concepts about curry functions and all so if we just try to talk about simple memorized function, we can write it. So function memorized and it is taking function as an argument. Okay, let me just call this a little bit. So memorized function, what it is doing is it is taking function as an argument and it is going to return another function. So it will have a const cache. So memorized function is if you are calling a same function with same argument then it should give you the value from the cache okay what it is returning another function and it is having parents so you will understand also the concepts of closer because function is returning another function here so here we will check if this cache has that params already there then return it Otherwise, what we need to do is we need to first calculate the result from the function. We need to get the result of this function by passing the params. Okay, I got the result. I will set it in the cache. Okay, and I can return the result. This is how it works, right? Now, how, how you can call this because this function is again calling uh, returning another function right so we can actually memorize this function which is two upper this is a function and what this function is doing 
it is taking string as an empty string as input with a default constructor default argument and it is using this to upper key uh, native function of javascript right this function we are going to memorize so const uh, to upper memorized function we will call this function and we will pass it to upper right we got something to upper is again a function because this function memorized function is returning another function so we can call it again by passing the param parameters so abc right it will return in abc right now you can if you are passing the same argument then it will get it from cache it will not evaluate it again right so this function is returning another function this is same as uh, i mean if you have seen this kind of example const add which is accepting argument a and it is returning another function which is taking function b as an argument and it is returning a plus b a simple closure example right and how you will call it you will call it twice or you will assign it to some variable and then call it again right similarly here this function is returning another function so memorized we called we got this two upper memorized function and then we are calling it so here we are passing function and here we are passing the argument so once you are calling it for the first time this function is stored inside the closure of the inner function that's why you are able to call it otherwise function would have been undefined right but the function which is a argument passed in the outer function is stored inside the closure of the inner function okay from this lot of concepts are getting reflected when you talk about it now next thing we can talk about is different ways of invoking a function or a declaring a function you might have seen these kind of examples like function you can simply create function hello right and then you can also assign it to some expression const x equal to function you can use arrow function also which is pretty much simple right uh, it is just you just pass the same value and same value are returning right so now another thing which we will talk about is invoke uh, the context of this in the functions while calling it in the different approaches right invocation as a function so simply if you just try to put a function something like this and here you are doing console.log what do you think what is the value of this here when you are calling this hello it is going to point to the window object right and even if you just change this function to something different const object okay here i have a const object and here i have some method any kind of callback okay and now you are calling this method o dot method this is a callback function so we are writing it something like this and here if you put console.log this this is also pointing to window object so how we can override the definition of this object inside a function that we will take a look into this example okay so there are many ways of writing a function or calling a function using function as an expression or function can return another function function can take function as an argument right that is a callback function now if we just talk about uh, a simple example where we try to override the function definition using object like we have a const details here you can see i have a property name okay here i have a get name function function can be written simply like this and here if i do console.log this simply this and if you just try to do console.log this dot name so what value we are going to get when i'm trying to do details dot get name here this will point to this current object okay details dot get name you are calling so whatever you are trying to print this this will point to this object okay so here 
this dot get name details dot get name in this function definition this will point to this object right so here it is not pointing the window object which we were seeing earlier in the simple function example now we are also invoking function as a expression like using new constructor that we have already seen like if you are executing a function you have written a simple employee function okay simple employee function and what it is doing is if you just see this in this and you are trying to create an object of this function then how this object behaves right it is creating the empty object then assigning the empty object to this keyword and this will become an em empty object so this is how we are overriding this context earlier it was pointing to the window object but you are creating the new employee function then it is creating the new empty object and it will assign that empty object to this context so this dot name and all these values will be assigned right and then this object will be returned from this function right this is a simple way where you are creating the object and trying to return that now another thing is you might have heard about call apply bind okay so what we do in call apply bind signature is we try to override the context of this object in our functions so if we just see i have a const obj1 and here i put result as 0 okay i have a const obj2 and here also i put result equal to 0 right so i have written one function reduce add i'm not going to use reduce function array dot reduce but like let's say i have a let result equal to initially 0 and i'm getting some kind of argument so i will just iterate on to it let i is 0 i is less than argument dot i is 0 i is less than argument dot length okay i plus plus now what we are doing inside it is result plus equal to uh, arguments arguments of i so this is how we are adding all the arguments inside an array okay and we can say this dot result equal to result so what we are doing in this when you call this reduce add function what we are doing is we are just calculating the arguments like you are passing some arguments here all these are passed as arguments array arguments dot length will be the length of this this will be treated as an array this is native to javascript and we are calculating the result and we are setting this result into the global object so here this is pointing to window object okay how can i how can i override i don't want it to just set this in the window object i wanted to set it on my own personal object so how can i do this i can use the call apply bind so what i can do reduce and dot call and i will just okay i want to override this object with object 1 so i will set object 1 okay just trying to get some space object 1 and here i'm passing all the arguments right so in that case this dot result will point to the object 1 and here we are going to set the object 1 dot result on this particular line similarly call apply is also there apply in this the only difference is it is going to you can pass multiple argument in an array okay so this is what we are sending so in this if you are setting object 2 it means you are going to set the result property of object 2 in this example okay so these are the different ways of uh, doing the invocation and uh, we can also talk about the hoisting or uh, hoisting of variables in javascript which is also important aspect like here you have declared for x equal to 90 and you have created a function here if you are doing console.log uh, x and in the bottom somewhere you have declared x equal to 80 right so what do you think x will be according to you it should be 90 no it undefined and why 
because the definition of x is hoisted to the top of the function here. Now this function knows that I have x defined somewhere but I don't have value yet so it will just return undefined right. So this is called hoisting of uh, the variables. Similarly the hoisting of functions also there you can call the function before even defining it because this function definition is hoisted to the top that's why you are able to call a function even before defining that function that is not the case with the classes okay now we can just talk about async await and promises because these are the the different mechanisms using which we are able to write the asynchronous code in javascript so next thing we can talk important example is uh, what is the difference between uh, in operator and has on property method so i have this object how would i make sure that this property belongs to this object only nothing else right so there is a one method which is there object dot has on property so x dot has on property is there and you can actually pass the property name which is a so it will return true because this object has the property a this will be the same case for b but what happens this is fine but what happens about the inherited properties like object x and i'm creating const y using object dot create i'm passing x so y if you just do console.log y y will not have the properties but the proto of y is having these property a and b so if you just try to do cons uh, object dot has on property a and b it will return as a false okay that is the difference between uh, has on property and if you just try to do console.log uh, you can see a in a in y it will return true because property is there but not his own okay now what are the different ways of making an object you can just simply talk about object dot uh, using constructor function using new function and using object dot create you can inherit the function from the previous function using object dot create object dot assign spread operator all these possible ways you can create a simple object okay sometimes uh, we talk about ASX, asynchronous JavaScript and XML. This is a way using which we are actually able to make a API call. I mean, we are using XHR object. So XHR request we are making and it is using an XML HTTP request. So a browser also use the same process. I mean, in browser we are using some kind of a worker internally. They are able to make a call whenever you write a fetch or whenever you are writing xs.get from client this xsr request is getting called and you are sending get put post to delete methods and making api calls okay so other thing other important things let's talk in the next video uh, that we will talk more about uh, different methods different tips and tricks or you can call it the tricky questions in javascript